Hi everyone, welcome to Water Goddess Tarot. So the topic for today is mystery message meant for you. Now in this mystery message, for every pile, the message is going to be, of course, random. It can be regarding any area of your life. It can just be guidance that you are meant to listen to at this point of time. I have kept it completely open so that, you know, whatever you're meant to find, you do find via this reading at this point of time. Okay. Whenever you listen to this reading, it is yours because it is a timeless reading. Now you have three options in front of you. You can see three images on the screen to choose from. I will show you the close-ups as well. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And this here is pile number three. So you can just pause the video, take your time and choose the image that you feel drawn to the most intuitively. Meanwhile, let's just begin with pile number one. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. So let's just figure out as to what mystery message is there in store for you. So for you, we have the lovers. Five of coins, six of coins, ace of cups, death, six of cups, and then we have snake that says shed old skin. This pile is specifically for those who are in separation with somebody. If you are not in separation, okay, if you are not longing for somebody in your life, then this is not your pile, okay? If you're single, then too you can watch this. If you are just in a happy, committed relationship, then I don't think this is the pile for you. This pile is specifically for people who are going through a lot of ups and downs in their love life or there's nothing that is happening in their love life, okay? Now, coming to your reading. For some of you, you are dealing with a twin flame connection and for some of you, you are dealing with a soulmate connection. Because this is a general reading and a lot of you are going to choose pile number one, I don't know why I feel that a lot of people are going to choose pile number one. So for some of you, you are on a twin flame journey. For others, you're on a soulmate journey. So please take the messages accordingly, whatever the case is. Okay. Now, there is somebody from your past, okay, whom you are in no communication with at this point of time. You guys did not end it on a very good note or there might not have been a proper closure between the two of you okay i don't see a very huge fight per se but then i do see somebody feeling very disappointed in regards to however things have transpired between the two of you okay now in this period of separation your person has been on the healing journey and so happen you and a lot of changes have taken place when it comes to your energies when it comes to your spiritual journey there is spiritual maturity that has happened in this connection you both have kind of triggered each other to man up or woman up in your life okay you two have managed to push each other towards becoming your best individual selves so the spirit of separation was very much necessary between the two of you because you had to find your ground you had to find your individuality and take pride in what you bring to the table okay so there was a lot of work that the two of you were meant to do on your own selves and you have been doing that both of you but whenever this separation 
or no contact situation happened it was very disappointing again for both of you okay now what is happening or what is about to actually happen in your life is that i see a beautiful union okay you two are coming together there is going to be equal give and take you both are going to be receptive to each other's energies emotions gestures and you would want to invest in each other out of love there isn't going to be any mind games you guys are not going to leave each other puzzled you guys are not going to leave each other you know questioning or not replying to messages playing hard to get the runner chaser thing and stuff like that all of this is coming to an end you guys are going to actually communicate with each other you are going to express yourselves to each other and you're both looking for the same thing let me tell you that you're both looking for something that is long term you're both looking for something that is committed you're both looking for something that is serious and i just feel the two of you communicating very beautifully in a way that your foundation is going to be very very strong it is going to be built on mutual trust mutual respect a lot of love and a lot of admiration for the other person now when the two of you are going to come into this union it is going to be beautiful it is going to be something that is going to fill your heart with a lot of love and warmth okay now this person who's coming back into your life they really adore you let me tell you that they really adore you they have been keeping an eye on you and i think the two of you have been mirroring each other in this period of separation no contact your person is i mean as much as you are intrigued they are intrigued as well i mean the energies are mutual the love is mutual if you have been stalking your person they have been doing the same if you've been daydreaming about them they have been doing the same okay if you have been thinking that they are entertaining somebody else they have been thinking the same about you but the fact is that the kind of love that you do share it is very pure it is very beautiful okay now if you are watching this reading for somebody whom you are already in a commitment with but things have been just up and down here and there then i think that after a lot of fights and disagreements you guys are going to come back to your normal state and whosoever you're committed to at this point of time that person is either your twin flame or your soulmate okay if you're somebody who is single then you are inviting a twin flame or a soulmate into your life and this is going to be a beautiful journey for you okay this is going to be a beautiful journey for you everyone's journey is going to be full of lessons that are meant for you to learn in this lifetime but regardless of everything it is going to be a beautiful journey i don't want to kind of you know emphasize a lot on them being your twin flame or your soulmate but what i can see is what i'm going to tell you i know there are people who get irked with the terminology of twin flames and soulmate but if there is something that exists it exists for a reason if you believe in it good for you if you don't believe in it just leave it for somebody who believes in it okay there is no need to get extremely angry or triggered because i've often seen people getting really upset and somewhere down the line that doesn't sit well with me if you don't believe in something that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist so let us just leave room for everybody if you don't believe in it it's okay <laughs> 
leave it okay now another thing that's happening for you pile number one is that you are going through a spiritual awakening or a kundalini awakening i just feel that you are in the process of it there are very high chances that this person kind of triggered your spiritual awakening okay this person kind of pushed your buttons and you did the same for them okay and now you have kind of learned your lessons you have kind of evolved over time there are a lot of changes that have happened with you both at a physical level and at a spiritual level and i see that you have evolved with time so over here what you're meant to know is whatever is leaving your life let it go do not hold on to people or do not hold on to people's past or your past for that matter even when you're reuniting with this person my advice to you would be to not bring up stuff that is going to lead to fights whatever has happened between the two of you is a thing of the past now you have to focus on what your present is and how you're going to cultivate your future out of this present right whatever you're going to do in the present is what is going to kind of pave your path towards your future so embrace whatever has happened because everything that has happened has happened for a reason you might not understand it right now but it was necessary it happened for you for your growth for your evolution okay so just accept it with grace and let it flow let it flow okay and if you are that kind of a person who's going through a kundalini awakening at least one of you is so my advice for you would be to make sure to ground your energies often because the more grounded you will be the better you're going to feel in your everyday life otherwise sometimes it gets very very heavy when you're not aware as to what is happening in your body and there are so many upgrades that are taking place there's so much that is happening on an energetic level but because you're not grounded enough to handle it everything just feels extremely overwhelming so please make sure to ground your energies at this point of time just switch off your brain every day and make sure that you're not falling into the trap of overthinking either about this person or about your life in general about anything for that matter okay because this union is meant to happen that is for sure this union will take place and it is going to take place between 1 to 6 months from now okay timeline is going to be different for everybody who's chosen this pile because a lot of people are watching but for most of you this union is going to happen within a month or between 1 to 6 months okay so yeah that is what i have for you pile number 1 if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi pal number 2 welcome to your reading so let's just figure out as to what mystery message we have for you to be of ace of wands queen of wands nine of pentacles 10 of wands five of pentacles the high priestess and we have shape shifter that says transform and unveil your gifts okay so now you are either going through a glow up or you are about to go through a glow up 
if you have been exercising if you've been taking care of your diet if you have been you know just working hard towards your physical health especially then let me tell you either you're already shining or you are about to attract so much of attention in your life you have no idea you're also going through an energetic upgrade there is a lot of clearance that is happening in your life especially on an energetic level and my ear has started to ring which tells me that there's a lot that is happening on an energetic level pile number two you are activating your psychic gifts at this point of time especially when it comes to you being a clear audience okay i'll come back to the psychic part later let me just cover your glow up part first okay yeah so now you are becoming a magnet okay and you are going to attract a lot of attention okay a lot of attention a lot of popularity you might become famous overnight or if you're somebody who's seeking fame who's on the lookout for fame i do see you getting recognized i do see you being the center of attention i do see you being in that spotlight i do see you just being that king or the queen there are a lot of people who are watching you there are a lot of eyes that are just on you at this point of time so many people are crushing on you so many people look up to you there's something about the way you look there's something about your beauty even if you're a guy there's something about your physique there's something about the way you carry yourself okay there is a lot of fire to your energy and a lot of people are very very attracted on a primal level okay when people are looking at you they are finding you to be extremely fertile okay i hope you're getting what i'm trying to say i'm just using very you know a very simple statement so that even you understand and youtube also is chill enough to accept it but yeah i mean whatever you start now in terms of your creative projects pile number 2 you're going to get a lot of success okay even if you're somebody who is into a 9 to 5 whatever you're creating you've got that touch to you that whatever you know you're going to touch it's going to turn into gold so this is a very fertile time for you i mean physically yes but also in other areas of your life in the sense that you're being asked to make the most of it because whatever you start now it is going to be successful whatever you kind of put your hands in you're going to get something out of it and for most of you you have been putting the work for months and it is the result of your hard work that you're going to get okay or that you are getting right now for some of you it has already happened it is just happening while we are just chit chatting or while i'm just giving you these messages and for some of you it is just about to happen the energy is very fluid the energy is you know just there it is the energy of what's happening in the now and again i'm getting this message where i would like to correct myself I said that you have been working for months but no you have been investing your time energy and effort into different areas of your life for years now okay it's not about you working hard for months it's about you working hard for years and now is that time where you are going to get 
the result of your hard work or you already are getting okay the next message that i have for you is that you're going to make a lot of money there's a lot of money that is in store for you you're going to be spiritually abundant you're going to be materially abundant you're going to be just very happy overall i just see you having good relationship with people i see you to be smiling a lot i see you to be just feeling very proud of your accomplishments and you are going to accomplish something that is for sure i can sense this winner energy from you pal number 2 there's something that you're going to win there's something that you're doing i don't know what it is where you're going to be on top you're going to be you know just the spotlight is going to be only on you and that is about to happen this is what is about to just knock at your door this is going to make you emotional let me tell you whenever this happens this is going to make you emotional because you have been working religiously you have made a lot of sacrifices to reach where you're about to reach or where you already have reached and this win is going to taste very sweet you're going to love every bit of the attention that you're going to get also you're going to feel very very emotional and proud of yourself okay if you're somebody who's been going through some kind of difficulties when it comes to your finances your stability you know you having a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders all of it is getting sorted out for you you are that kind of a person who has not seen results for years but the time period that you're about to step into that is going to be a game changer you're going to be on cloud 9 pile number 2 and this makes me very 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 happy for you because i can see as to how much you've struggled and this is completely worth it and if nobody is around you to celebrate you you should definitely be celebrating your damn self because you deserve it do not wait for people to make you feel important i don't know who needs to listen to this message but if people are not happy when you are winning firstly you have wrong people around you secondly if you don't have anybody you have yourself right so just be proud of your journey be proud of the person that you are and celebrate yourself treat yourself pamper yourself because you deserve it and you've earned it okay now the next message that i have for you pile number 2 is that if you have been going through any kind of health issues if you've been going through bouts of depression anxiety and these health issues might be physical for some but for most of you these are related to mental health okay if you have been down in the dumps if you have been you know just all over the place i'm here to tell you that you are going through a spiritual awakening and a lot is happening on an energetic level you might feel the urge to cry you might feel that nothing's happening in your life you might feel okay so i just saw a spider right now which tells me all about the transformation that you are going through okay and pile number 2 this is a confirmation that you are clearing out a lot of garbage okay you're clearing out a lot of garbage from your life in terms of toxicity on an emotional level physical level you might feel very weak in your body as well for some of you you have an upset stomach you're going through a lot of migraine episodes you are dealing with sinus you are feeling oversensitive you are you're feeling 
very overwhelmed and you're getting this urge to cry a lot you are not sleeping properly you are wanting to spend a lot of time in your own energy and if this is resonating with you then you need to understand that all of this is happening because a lot of clearing is taking place and this is an energetic clearing that is happening you are going through a spiritual awakening right now and a lot of codes are getting integrated into your energetic system you are getting a lot of downloads and your body is kind of getting prepared for you to understand and make sense of the downloads that are getting integrated into your system you're very psychic let me tell you that you're very psychic and you are activating or these gifts are actually getting activated for you if you don't already know that you're psychic then you should you know figure out about the psychic gifts that you have because you really have psychic gifts and you i just see there's a lot that is happening when it comes to your chakras also if you are meditating if you have been chanting specially a lot is changing pile number 2 a lot is changing and it is feeling heavy because it is clearing it is clearing out a lot that you don't need in your life okay and for some of you you are finally releasing your past trauma okay you have a lot of trauma inside of you and that is leaving your life and that is why you're feeling the way you're feeling the last message is also similar to what i just said which is about you being a shape shifter okay you are somebody who transforms beautifully and every phase of your life is going to be different every phase of your life is going to demand a different version of you and over here you are being kind of encouraged to embrace change change anyway comes easily to you in each phase of your life there are very high chances that you are going to go on different career paths you might not stick to just one career field in your lifetime you're going to change okay and over here there are very high chances that you might even be a jack of all trades okay so if you are interested in more than one career field or if you have a hobby make that your side hustle if you have a side hustle make that into a career because i feel you're meant to do something around spirituality for sure in this lifetime you will do it and the universe will tell you as to when the time is right for you to pursue this but you're going to do it because you're naturally very gifted and these gifts come from your past life you are an old soul pile number 2 what i would advise you over here is to give yourself some grace please don't be very harsh with yourself don't be very hard on yourself because you have this habit of being very hard on yourself don't be just the way you treat others treat yourself in a similar manner the way you treat the way you would treat a loved one when they are down in the dumps is the way that you are being asked to treat yourself at this point of time okay because you need that care and affection if you don't have people around you to give it to you you are supposed to give it to yourself because that is your responsibility all right so do that for yourself but all in all i'm here to tell you that a lot is happening a lot is changing for you you are entering into one of the best phases of your life and you are going to enjoy the fruits of your labor like never before because you're finally stepping into that period of your life where you're going to feel very prosperous abundant happy and very just very light energetically you're going to feel very light once you pass this phase that you're going through at this point of time 
you're going to feel that shift in your energy and that is the switch that is going to tell you that you know what let's just start afresh and just create magic all right so that is what i have for you pile number two if you liked your reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya hi pile number three welcome to your reading so let's just figure out as to what mystery message we have in store for you we have the high priestess ace of wands seven of wands eight of swords okay then we have ten of pentacles six of pentacles eight of wands and we have mountains that says stand your ground okay so now when it comes to you either you already are a professional healer a psychic somebody who is into this healing industry and you are practicing some modality or the other okay and if you're not then i'm here to tell you that you're somebody who's very very gifted you have psychic gifts your intuition is on point you're somebody who is just born with this gift now what divination tool you're going to choose for yourself is another story but then i'm here to tell you that you have a lot of psychic gifts you could be a very good reiki healer this is an intuitive message that i'm getting because there's something about energies there's something about i don't know there's something about you there is something about you you could be a very good tarot reader as well you could be a very good reiki healer as well at least this is what i can channel right now these are the two things that are standing out the most anyway proceeding further if you are feeling very out of place and you're not able to understand as to what i'm saying then let me tell you that whenever you're listening to this reading a lot of activations are taking place for you okay and your intuition is blooming beautifully you're very intuitive right now and this is only going to increase in the coming days this is only going to expand in the coming days make the most of your intuitive abilities make the most of your gut feeling make the most of your feelings make make the most of you know the synchronicities that you are seeing because you are in a beautiful blend with the universe with the energies okay also i just feel that you're going to get some extremely creative ideas and you're being advised over here to work on those ideas because you can be number 1 in your field of work if you choose to act on your ideas you already are somebody who's very very creative your creativity is one of your biggest strength okay and in the coming days you're going to be a magical manifester so it is very important for you to you know kind of focus on things that you want for yourself because when you are into this energy of being a magical manifester you manifest all kinds of energies okay but here whatever you're aiming at you're going to get it let me tell you that so just work with 
different techniques, whatever works for you. But use it to your advantage. We already have a new moon when I am recording this reading. Okay. And right now, the energies are very, very, very fertile for you, pile number three. If you already are a practitioner, you're a tarot reader, you are a healer, whatever the case is, your predictions are going to come true. Whatever you're going to channel, it is directly coming from the divine. It is directly coming from the higher dimensions. You can literally see through people. You are going to be a 10 on 10 at your job, at, I mean, at your channeling game. It is going to be on point. Okay. So make the most of it. There are also very high chances that you're going to get a lot of messages via your dreams. So take note of your dreams. You're very psychic. You are very, very psychic, pile number three. Okay. Now, I want to tell you that you are a lone warrior. You don't need a lot of people. You don't need people to, you know, come and help you, support you, for you to be successful. You are meant to be successful. And you're meant to be successful in a way where you're actually not going to receive a lot of support from people. So if at all you're expecting XYZ to support you, please don't expect from people because you alone are enough. You're somebody who is going to do exceptionally well in the fields where you are your own boss, okay? If you have a vision and you don't have people who believe in your vision, do not give a F about it because what you can see, they can't. Over here, your angels and spirit guides want you to have that faith in yourself that you know you alone are enough what you can see people can't because they don't have your vision because this is the gift that only you have i'm again telling you you're very psychic you might be blessed with all the clairs okay explore them build them up okay just work towards building your psychic gifts you don't have to read a lot of books. You don't have to do a lot of courses. Just channel your energies. See how it comes naturally to you. Because everyone's way of channeling the energies and the messages is different. See what calls out to you the most. And just, and just start. Just start your journey. Okay? If you're getting this urge to journal start writing don't think what you're writing just start journaling if you get this urge you know to maybe write a story or a poem do that because you are getting messages you're getting messages from the universe every rejection that is happening in your life or that has happened in your life pile number three was protection so if you did not get the support that you were expecting from people, that was for a reason. Because I think you were counting on the wrong people. If you lost out on a lot of friends, okay, if you just are in a hermit energy where you don't talk to a lot of people, it's for a reason. The universe saved you because you had people in your life that were very deceptive that were very good to you on your face, but in reality, they were your enemies. Might sound a bit harsh, but this is the truth, okay? Also, there are chances, pile number three, that you think that you're not going to be successful if you're going to follow the calling of your soul. You feel that you are not going to sum up to something or maybe this is what people have made you feel that you're not good enough that you are not worth it but i'm here to tell you that whatever time you've spent 
by yourself or whatever time you've spent in your own energy that has helped you a lot in building your character that has made you self sufficient that has made you a warrior okay you might have had episodes where you might have you know felt extremely anxious irritated and you might have cried your heart out you might have felt lonely but over here there is a surprise that is in store for you and that is coming in the form of material abundance the universe is going to gift you with a lot of money with a lot of comfort with a lot of luxuries because you stood your ground because you chose to trust yourself so if at all you are questioning yourself you are questioning your decisions please don't do that you are on the right path you are going to achieve all of your dreams time might not have been in your favor in the past but things are about to change and you're going to see this change in let's just say 2 months from whenever you're listening to this reading okay and if you are somebody who was you know kind of deceived by people in the past or you've had very sour experiences with people in general especially when it comes to money or you know your money has been stuck for really long or you've felt stuck in your life for very very long this is about to change for you you are going to be blessed with a lot of money okay the universe is taking care of your coins the universe is taking care of you feeling secure and stable enough in your life and just living your life and feeling extremely fulfilled and abundant okay and this is a very tough cycle that you're closing out in your life let me tell you that so your days to worry about money are finally coming to an end your days to you know just i mean your days to feel as if you're not lucky i think it it is all going to change very very soon for you okay also by number 3 i just want to give you another message so for example if you get an idea okay to work on a particular project of just say let me keep it simple if you want to invest in something okay and you have people around you could be your friends family your coworkers whatever they tell you otherwise they tell you that whatever you're thinking that's going to be a big failure that's going to bring you a lot of loss you are being advised to please listen to your intuition see right now your intuition is very 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 strong in the coming days it is only going to get stronger so here what you're being advised is to listen to your intuition do not depend on people do not count on those that are around you because you do have people who don't want you to succeed in life okay you do have those kind of people around you who are full of jealousy because you are going to glow up and people can sense this from your energies maybe you're somebody who's just started to glow up in general as well and people are noticing you they're not liking this fact they're not liking that you're coming out of your darkness and they want to put you over there what you're supposed to do is ignore everybody just trust your gut have faith in the spirit if you have that bond with your spirit guides your angels source universe god whatever whoever you believe in stick to that stick to that pile number 3 because you are in for just you are in for a spin okay and this is going to make you feel very 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 fulfilled especially i just see a huge glow up in your finances your intuition is going to help you in making the kind of money that you've always wanted to make there are very high chances that you are going to make hell lot of money i just feel like calling you the first millionaire in your family i don't know why i know it's a very big statement but if i am channeling it then i'm supposed to give it to you 
and i just feel that you are that person you are the dark horse and you got to trust yourself you got to trust your dreams and let me tell you pile number 3 you have the potential to achieve all of your goals with the help of you know spirituality so this could be manifestation techniques this could be how you communicate with your angels your spirit team with god i mean spirituality is going to play a very major role in you achieving all your dreams so the closer you're going to come to the spirit world the closer you're going to walk this path is actually how you are going to walk closer towards your dream life as well this this is going to go hand in hand and it is completely your call as to how you want to process this message i'm nobody to force spirituality on you if you are watching this reading then definitely you are a believer and that is why you're here so you are going to take this message in a way that i'm trying to deliver it to you and if this sits well with you then please work with different manifestation techniques because you're only going to go up the ladder okay another message that i have for you is that you might receive a gift from somebody in the coming days this gift can come from just anybody for that matter could be somebody extremely random also might be an expensive gift for some of you it might be a promotion might be a raise might be an opportunity for you to travel somewhere might be a big change that is going to happen in your life that is going to bring you a lot of money so you might get transferred somewhere or you might get a better paying job or you might get an opportunity that is going to just get you a lot of money i just see a lot of money and opportunity that is on the way this opportunity might knock at your door within i would say 10 to 15 days from whenever you're watching this reading but if it doesn't knock at your door within 15 days do not lose your heart because it is definitely going to come sooner or later it is going to be yours there are very high chances for you to get inheritance there are very high chances for you to receive wealth from somewhere this could be just you getting returns from an investment this could be you just i don't know why i just feel that your angels and spirit guides are in the mood to bless you with a lot of money so there's this huge glow up when it comes to your money and you're going to crack some amazing deals if you're into a business if you are into spirituality you're going to get a lot of clients you're going to sell a lot of products you're going to make a lot of money if you are into any kind of business and stuff like that you are going to crack some huge deals huge deals when i say then ah oh, i mean watch out for how you talk and the words that you speak pile number 3 your words are very powerful at this point of time whatever you are going to say and think it is going to manifest i'm getting this message again and again so please think good thoughts just aim for the stars don't think that your dreams are just you know very flighty because there's nothing that is impossible for the universe the universe is very very abundant it doesn't care as to how big the amount is it just knows how to give but you should be in the energy of receiving so come in that energy of being the receiver and you're going to get a lot of money okay the last message is again similar to what i told you before from this mountains card it says that stand your ground over here again i would say count on yourself if there's anybody that you should be counting on right now and in the coming days it is just 
you yourself do not trust people with your secrets do not trust people with you know with anything for that matter do not trust people when it comes to money do not trust people when they are giving you suggestions so now for example pile number 3 if you are getting an opportunity okay and you have two opportunities in your hands you like opportunity a more because you think that you're going to be more successful over there and there's somebody around you who tells you that no opportunity b looks better but your intuition is telling you to go for opportunity a please listen to your intuition stick to what your heart is telling you your intuition is very 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 strong i know i'm repeating myself but you should just get this engraved somewhere that i am only trusting myself i'm only trusting my gut feeling i'm only trusting my intuition stick to what you're feeling stick to what your intuition is trying to tell you stick to that stick to that do not get confused stand your ground in the sense if you've made a decision please stick to that decision because you will have people who will try to you know just become that obstacle and stop you from progressing ahead they will come with certain notions that are not going to sit well with you but are going to you know create that seed of doubt in your head do not let the judgment of others dwindle you or hamper your progress you are on the right path and you're meant to achieve things that people can't even imagine and you are meant to do big things in life people can never even you know imagine at this point of time that you are going to reach that level but i'm here to tell you that you are going to reach a particular level in your life where people are just going to look at you with thinking as to how did you do it okay and the world is going to see you succeed in life so count on yourself count on your spirit team count on your intuition that is enough that is the only support that you need at this point of time if you believe in god then i think you're god's favorite child okay so this is what i have for you have the attitude of gratitude the more grateful you are the more abundance prosperity happiness and whatever you want you're going to attract into your life and that's about it pile number 3 if you liked our reading please like share comment subscribe turn the notification bell on so that whenever i post next you get notified if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can do that via instagram and email the details for both is in my description box below i'll catch up with you in the next reading see ya